my name is Lacey and today we're going to be talking a little bit about owl pellet dissection and then we're going to dive into one and see what we can find. First things first, what kind of animal is an owl? It is a bird, believe it or not. So there's lots of different species of birds. You have teeny tiny little finches, you have penguins, which are flightless birds. You also have ostriches, which is another type of flightless bird. And then you have owls, which are what we're going to talk about today. So what makes a bird a bird? First, they have feathers. Obviously, all birds are going to have feathers, even if they don't fly. Next, they will have beaks. Now these beaks come in all shapes and sizes depending on what they need. So finches are going to have short and stout beaks to be able to bite into things like nuts and acorns and things like that. And then you'll have beaks like pelicans that are used for scooping things out of the water. So it really depends on what their main food source is based on what their beaks gonna look like. Next we have talons. So Talons are a little bit different depending on your bird. So on a normal bird like a finch or a blue jay or a mockingbird, you're not really gonna get those really sharp talons like you will in your predatory birds, like in your owls or in your hawks. Those are used for gripping food mostly. So swooping down, grabbing something and flying away without ever stopping. Next you have something really special and that is going to be pneumatic bones. Basically it means that they're hollow and a bird's bones are hollow because it enables them to be lighter so they can um, fly better without using a lot of energy. Obviously they're gonna have lungs, they are air breathing animals and they are vertebrates. So they do have a backbone even though it looks a little bit different than the normal backbone like ours. They are warm blooded animals so that means that they do not have to lay in the sun to get their energy like a reptile would, like an alligator or a snake. They're like us where we generate our own body heat. Next, they lay eggs. So all birds are gonna lay eggs. That is their way of birthing offspring. They do not give live birth. They will incubate those eggs and protect those eggs until they hatch and then they'll still protect those eggs after they are hatched and protect those baby birds until they're ready to leave the nest. So why actually are birds important? For one reason, they reduce pest populations. So pests include rodents and some species of snakes, moles, other birds, believe it or not, and insects. So all of those, populations can increase rather quickly if birds were not around. But they can also be prey. So those smaller birds often find themselves being prey to larger birds such as hawks or owls or any other really big bird you can think of. But they can be prey to foxes and badgers. So these are two really ferocious ground predators that if a bird is caught on the ground within their territory for more than a couple seconds, it's probably gonna end up being dinner for them. So birds can also be prey. So what exactly is an owl pellet? It is essentially undigested bits of what the owl ate. These are gonna be things like fur and bones and uh, scales, depending on if it ate a lizard, whatever it ate, whatever it cannot digest, is what is going to be inside of this pellet. That goes into the gizzard to get compressed into a pellet. But those digestible bits will move into the intestines, so tissues and meat that are nutritious for this bird will move through the intestines for further digestion. Once the owl pellet is compressed, it is sent back through the glandular stomach, so just in case there's bits and pieces of meat, it will continue to be digested. But essentially, once everything is compressed, it will go in reverse and the owl will eventually pop it up, like right here. And that frees up the glandular stomach so the owl can continue feeding because if that stomach is full of things that it cannot digest, it will feel full always and it does not turn out well for the bird in most cases. It always feels full and it's never getting nutrition. It's not gonna make for a very healthy bird. So while we're dissecting owl pellet, obviously we're gonna have on gloves, but essentially all we do is take it out of its wrapper and we dig in to see what we can find. Different types of bones, skulls, beaks, fur, scales, feathers, anything we can find, we're going to observe that and trying to determine what type of animal that it came from. 